They're only half the band they used to be, <laughs> but they're cheap at half the price. Please welcome Short Club Club 7, what are you up to? Just get down and get with the short leg dance, Hoochie Mama. Deck tall in romance, cos I'm so close to the floor. <laughs> Look, S Club 7, we're really, really sorry. This wasn't me and Ant's idea, it was all Deck's idea. Get ready, everybody. Here we go! <laughs> Look, we're sorry. Deck said we couldn't afford such a big name band like you on the show, so we sort of made our own mini version. Sorry, yeah, it's really embarrassing. Get, get the feeling. I can't reach the ceiling. Go on, Tina, your turn. <laughs> yeah, you could pass double now, just for the inside. What? No, oh, come on. Can't we can't afford one for no, you? Oh, hey. You better pay up, otherwise it's Venetian blinds for the lot of you. Curtains, Bradley. Curtains. Oh, yeah, curtains. It'd be Venetian curtains for a lot of you. Right. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> nice one, Declan. Yeah, nice Great one, Declan. Did you hear that? Great it's Venetian idea. curtains for the lot of us. And we've got to play S Club 7, £1.40 now. What are you going to say for yourself, son? <laughs> Wave your hands in the air like you just don't care! Ah! <laughs> His hands is going up on the rest of this stinger of a show. A dummy man! You've seen them already. S Club 7 are here. Yes, here in the SMTV studio. Look out for the cute little creature with a button nose and little round face who can attack you at any time for no reason. Yes, Declan Donnelly. Hang on, don't you mean Pegman? No. We have an exclusive look at Britney Spears' new video. Oh, yes. Jerry Springer's on this week's premiere episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And don't forget, there's another chapter of Dex's atrocious novel, Me and Our Lass. With S Club 7, though. A small child full of hope, aspirations and goodwill saunters into our studio just to be publicly humiliated by Ant in Challenge Ant. JK is with us all morning. Melanie C is in the house, and you can email her too if you like. There's a big massive bright green letter G that stands for jealousy in Chums. Uh, jealousy begins with a J actually, and That's not what written down here, Deck. Rhyme, 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 the three R's that's the golden rule of wonky donkey. We have the brand new Banger Boys video. And the artist formerly known as Prince steps a boy's on and bewitched makes CDK more exciting than teasing a really big dog who could turn on you at any time. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard right. We've got Jamira Choir, we've got Mel C, we've got S Club 7 on the show. I tell you what, those girls are a bit rough. They are, aren't they? They weren't as rough as that in rehearsals, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. They went for it that time. <laughs> Get all your questions in for all of our guests today, please. Email studio at smtvlive.co.uk or fax us 0207 737. 8393. But right now it's time to welcome our Saturday morning squad. They are Jazzy Earth and they are this morning's high pitch squealers. <laughs> And we've got cheerleaders for you this morning. They're the Greenwich Millies who are SMTV. Guinea goats! Yeah! 
more than the last. On time, bang on time, every time. That is the SMTV Guinea Goats. And I can tell you, there's two, two of the Guinea Goats this morning. It's their birthdays. It's Danielle Hall and Alicia Stewart's birthdays. They're both 15. Give them a big round Happy of applause. Birthday. 15 years old today. So we're looking at a high pitch Saturday morning squad. Giddy goats, yeah, giddy Woo! goats. <laughs> They're just crazy. You wouldn't yeah. find craziness like this on any other show, Lindsay. Except perhaps news like Except yeah. perhaps news. But we are the capital of craziness here on SMTV, right? Yes. Everybody? Would you say that? Yeah. Yeah. Anything can happen here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Seat of your pants television, anything can happen. For example, what? we could just say, why don't you ring us up? And we'll give you a prize. That's no, crazy. No, but be it's serious. Madness. We wouldn't do no, that. No, it's madness. No, it's, it's totally madness. That is the craziness we of Ray to win. <laughs> Well, up for grabs, you could win this. It's a pair of tickets to any steps to a date next year. Glasgow on the 5th of May, Newcastle on the 9th, Sheffield on the 14th, Birmingham on the 18th, Wembley on the 24th, Manchester on the 28th. That's all May 2000. Two pairs there. Six pairs of You can win them. All you've got to do is answer this question. What is the name of Sabrina the Teenage Witch's cat? Is it A, Salem, B, Moggy, or C, Tom? Call us on 09013 8181. Coach costs no one 25 pence. Get permission for your dialogue. See, that's it, it's as simple as that. It that's, it's, it's metal, I know. It but all you've got to do is just ring to win. Madness. Crazy. Madness. Anything. 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 Mentalist. <laughs> anything can happen <laughs> on the day show. Anything. And guess who we've got on the stage over there? Who? It's Club 7. Oh, yes. <laughs> the superb S Club 7 there. Now, S Club 7 are always shooting up the charts, but how are you at shooting in Splatoon? 9.99, well spent. Good link, Dick. Thanks very much. <laughs> now, later on, we'll be playing Splatoon, where you've got 45 seconds using this gun to hit as many paint bags as you possibly can. Now, helping us out this morning, we've got Tina, we've got Hannah, we've got Joe, and we've got Rachel from S Club 7. <laughs> Now, the score that they've got to beat is they've got to beat 600 points from Mick from Brookside. But if you're the caller with the most points today, then you can win this. Take a look. It's a pair of tickets to the Smash Hits poll winners party at the London Arena on the 5th of December with VIP backstage passes and all your travel and accommodation paid for. Now, if you want to win that prize, then all you have to do is answer this very simple question, which is, what does the C stand for in CITV? Is it A, crazy, B, children's, or C, carrots? If you think you know the answer, then give us a call on 09013 Calls should cost no more than 25p, but you must get permission from whoever pays the bill. And here's the ladies you've got to choose from this morning. Big round of applause for the S Club 7 girls. Yeah. So that's it. Give us a call if you think you know the answer to that question. I thank you, Mr McPartland. Thank you very much, Kat. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. OK, now, before Pokemon comes on, we've, uh, we've been receiving millions of letters asking about the various uh, Pokemons there are, what they do, what they can't do, how big they can get, etc., etc. So what we thought we'd do, we pass these letters on to our resident Pokemon expert. Yes, please welcome, it's Pokedex! <laughs> it's I knows them, cos I grows them. Yeah. <laughs> Deggy is the ultimate Pokemon expert. He is a marvel, an absolute marvel. Take your mind up and read one of these letters out from one of the viewers there, Deck. I'd love to hear it. Okay, it's here. It's from Ian Robertson oh, from yeah. Paisley. Yeah. Dear SMTV, what are the good and bad points about Charmander? Now listen to this, ladies and gents. Brilliant. Ah. You're watching brilliance at work here. Okay, take it away, Deck. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Fine. Right. Thanks for your what letter, is? Ian. Charmander. Right, Charmander is a very powerful uh, fire Pokemon. Charmander learns very slowly, but please don't let that put you off. Uh, he's a great fire Pokemon, so that means you mustn't take him too near water or things could get very steamy. Oh, in what is he waffling on about? Doesn't he look like a fat old lady uh, I mean, just sat there rambling on and, on and on and on? Oh, I love crisps. I wonder what's for dinner today. I had fish and chips yesterday, so I'll probably just have a pasty today. Well, I had some chips. And a fish. Hey, the greatest, you wonder what I have to say. Pokemon. Doesn't that look like a clown with no mega on the other hand, I wonder who wants to be a millionaire back on. He can melt I do like that show. That is a really, no, really I need a wee. Devil up the front uh, door. Really must, really oh. take care is he still flapping his gums? What an utter wally that boy is. Commander really can be uh, very good. Evolution is slow for Commander, but when he has evolved, uh, he's virtually 
Uh, I would say unstoppable. Brilliant. Thanks, thanks for your letter, Ian. Thanks Brilliant. for your letter. Brilliant. 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 Brilliant.
that? Is this true? It is true. Really? Really? What? Yeah, what's yeah, really happened is they've, they've, made, they've turned me into a cartoon character and I am still Cat Delia and I'm Johnny Bravo's dream woman. Whoa! Well, what Johnny an accolade. Johnny Bravo's dream woman. Have you seen yeah. it yet? I haven't, I haven't seen any of it yet. You haven't seen it? No. Well, it just surprise, happens, surprise. Kat. Surprise, You thought you were here tonight, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm the only one who does silly impressions. All right, sorry. All right. But we've got a clip of it. Go on, then. Brilliant. Should, should, do, so, want, do we want to have a look at this? Yeah. Bravo, have a look at this. Man, Cat Dealey didn't ring back to let me know about the loan. She must be nervous. Probably shaking like a jellyfish disco. I'll give her another call. Hello? Hi, Cat, it's Johnny. Johnny who? Ah, uh, good one. I like a lady with a sense of humor. Sounds like you'd have to. Oh, you little teasing mama. I'm that big, blonde, manly hunk from the television. Is this Lily Savage? No, baby. My chest is hairy. Pat Butcher? No, no, not that hairy. I'm the stud in the show with Velma. <gasps> no way. It's not you. Ah, oh, you better believe it, baby. <gasps> I really fancy you. But hang on. I thought you were going out with Daphne. What? How? Hey, uh, this isn't Fred. It's Johnny Bravo. Oh, I... Urgently. <laughs> Oh, yeah, come with Johnny. Oh, yeah, pretty mama. Oh, yeah. Johnny. Oh. I really love it. I'm just going to practice my run. Oh, that's fantastic. Give really it a massive like round of applause. Yeah. That's the first time you've seen it. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen it before, but it was really good fun to do voiceovers and stuff. It was yeah, really brilliant, that. What an accolade, really isn't it? it? So listen, you can see that Johnny Bravo Cartoon Network on the 10th of oh. December. Tune in for that. It looks great. It, it does well. look great. I'm afraid that's... You haven't seen the real Johnny Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the time we've got for letters this week, but it was it was worth it to see that. Oh, that I did really enjoy nice. that. Thank if you've got you any letters for next week, send them into to SMT Live Box 221 number 2 London SE19 GL or you can fax us 027-737-8393 or email as well studio at smtvlive.co.uk But right now it's time for the next instalment of Pokemon. Yeah! Are you in this? Pokemon! Pokemon! Next week! But now we've found another spinning round of Splatoon! Blah, 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 blah. Early on, we asked you the question, what does the C in CITV stand for? Of course, the answer was? The answer was B, wasn't it? It was B. Yes, <laughs> B, B, B. B, that's right, it's children. B. That's what it stood for. Let us believe you that. One person's been randomly selected by a computer. Randomly? A computer, whatever one of those things is. <laughs> and uh, our, our caller this morning is Emily Oliver from Shropshire. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. And how are you? Fine, thank oh, you. Oh, that's good. That's good. And you've chosen Hannah to play for you this morning. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning. Are you okay? I'm absolutely fine, thank Fully you. Fully prepared for the Splatoon gun? Fully prepared. Fully prepared. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> How does she fire it? I'll tell you. We've got about 45 seconds on the clock. You've got to get as many points as you can. Each paint bag is worth 100 points. Get as many as you can. Whoever wins at the end of the day's show gets the tickets and the VIP passes to that awards ceremony. It's as simple as that, okay? <laughs> uh, if I can ask you to pump your goggles on there, please. I'll pump them on for Just you. Just pump your goggles on. That's brilliant. Can't okay, see? 45 seconds left, right, oh. stop and splat. Good luck. Shocks away. Left, 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 left. Left, left. Up, 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 up. Splat, stop. Right, 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 right. Up, 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 stop, splat. Oh. Splat, left, left, yeah. left. Points. Four, 400? 400. Yay! 400, 400 points there, Hala, but congratulations. Oh, there's one sticking Fantastic. out at the back. Well, congratulations. We'll be playing Splatoon a little bit later on, but that's a good score. That's a great score. That puts, Hannah, Hannah, that puts you in 
fourth place on the leaderboard behind Jimmy from 911 and uh, uh, in front of Kieran from Westline. Westline. Brilliant. What a great score. That's a great place to be. Great story. <laughs> okay, you. it's great. We've been playing for a little bit later, but here's what's coming up in the rest of the day. It's great. Mm. British Bulldog. Have a shot. <laughs> we have an exclusive look at Britney Spears' new video. S Club 7 are here in the studio. Email them with your questions, queries, and whatnot. Jerry Springer's on this week's premiere episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Men with moustaches dressed in leather wearing big girls' handkerchiefs around their necks. Oh, I see. Rather, Satoon. Ant is challenged by some punk kid up the street for his crown of common knowledge. It challenge Ant. We've got JK here all morning. You don't need to go to the seaside to breathe in the smell sea. Sit where you are and watch Mel C. What an absolutely terrible link. Will true love ever prevail in chums? Eh, probably not, but at least there'll be a fight. We've got Wonky Donkey, and it has to rhyme, by the way. Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. The three R's. We have the brand new Banger Boys video. And the artist formerly known as Prince Steps Boys on Ambi Witch makes CDK more fun than going into a sweet shop and asking how much their penny chews are. We'll see you after the break. How do you fancy playing? Wonky Donkey. Yes, indeed, you could play Wonky Donkey and win this magnificent prize. Take it. It's a copy of Rayman, the new action adventure game, a game's console, a glitter pen, and a funky scratch. <laughs> if you want to enter, all you have to do is answer this question. What age group does Sabrina belong to? Is she A, toddler, B, a teenager, or C, a pensioner? If you think you know the answer, give us a call on 0901 Call should cost you no more than 25 pence, but please get permission before you die. Do. Now, though, it's time to go over to our resident SMTV art expert for some educational art fun. And welcome to Fart Attack. Now, uh, don't let the title put you off. It's purely a spelling mistake. We had a lot of arguments about last time, but I assure you, it is a spelling mistake, OK? Now, I hope that <laughs> clears the air a little bit. Oh, my goodness, did you hear that? Sounds like a wild goose has got in the studio. <laughs> did you hear it honk, boys and girls? Oh, there it goes again. Clear off, you cheeky little goose. There you are. Now, as I was saying, welcome to the show with me, Neil Pump Cannon. Now, once again, that's just an unfortunate name and shouldn't be taken too literally. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that literally, anyway. David, David, the air conditioning's making some funny noises, love. <laughs> Can you sort out? Thanks very much. Right, now, as I was saying, welcome to the show, and we all know that brushes and pens are the tool for tradesmen like us artists. We need these to do our pictures, and oh, I've dropped one. Oh, a pen, a pen, I mean. A pen, that's all, that's all I've dropped. Uh, nothing else, just a pen. Uh, I'll get that in a minute, because uh, I thought that I needed today, because we're gonna be making a nice model out of all this household junk just here. But uh, I'll get the pen, just to tidy up a little bit. I'll grab that. <laughs> so to make the model, we Change of plan, we'll do a collage instead, boys and girls. Right, a collage, uh, the best thing to do is get some material and really feel it. Have a good old feel of it, like me now. I'm uh, stroking this velvet here and uh, this denim. I'm just brushing this denim down and... and with, uh, uh, just holding that there, you know. Best to do that, I tell you. But ladies and gentlemen, who am I fooling, eh? Because forget these collages and little models. I really do have an announcement to make. Uh, no, not that. Not that. You see, the bosses at CITV have said my show isn't educational enough. In fact, they had this cheek to say that it stinks. Well, I've got to tell you, I'm not standing for it. I don't agree. I don't agree at all. I want everybody out there to write in and tell them. Tell them, no, Neil is the best. Neil is the man. The show does teach us things. The show does get things done. That's what I want you to do, children. Will you do that for me? Eh? I beg you. Will you? Please. Because if you don't, I'm going to stand here. I'm going to stand here and hold all my talent in until it's done. I'm going to stand here. Then that's... Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I'm going to. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, whoa, ladies and gentlemen, whoa, I, I, think, I think um, there's a... Whoa. I think uh, Neil's let, let off uh, let off a bit of steam there, ladies and gentlemen. He, 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 he could be off 
He could be off the air biscuits. Sorry, the air for, for a little while. Uh, that, Neil left. I'm sorry, Lindsay. What's next, Kat? Let's carry on. Uh, now, we're very excited about this next we thing. We are very excited. Uh, this lady won four MTV four Awards. Four MTV recently. Awards, yeah. Um, she's the Queen of Pop. Queen of Pop. And uh, this is an exclusive look at her new video. Exclusive look. Uh, born to make you happy. It's Britney Spears. I was going to say that. Britney Spears, is <laughs> <laughs> Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Ow. You can't beat a bit of Britney, Ow. can you? Can I get it? In fact, you can get a little bit better than Britney. Ow. Coming up right now, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, you've guessed it's part one. Sabrina, the teenage Ow. witch, come on! <laughs> Hi, you there. Didn't see you there. That was Sabrina, the teenage witch, part two of that in a little while. Now, as you know, boys and girls, it's nearing the panto season again. A chance for all of the kiddies to enjoy old stories like Cinderella and a chance for the adults to say, eee, I haven't seen him on the telly for years. <laughs> I thought he was dead. <laughs> that's right, that's what they say. Now, this week's chapter of the epic novel about Sabrina, me and our lass, will be performed in the cheap and cheerful, good-natured style of panto. Oh, oh, yes, it will. And you, you'll, all, you'll all like it. Otherwise, I will fire every single one of you. Don't laugh, I will fire you. And I, then I will crush you all like small insects. I will crush you all. Crush you to the ground. Sorry, will you just... <laughs> Pant or thing to back... Sorry. Oh, what is, what is I say, um... Oh, yes, it will. Sorry, Did, didn't mean to upset you there, kids. Didn't mean... Sorry, sorry, all the, all the best to you. There's, there's, there's looking at you. All right, then. So, this week, it's going to be performed in the style of pantomime. And to play the part of Sabrina this week, please welcome her, Miss Cattili! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Pop Stars. There she is, Cattili, as Sabrina White there. Uh, I know she looks a bit, little bit rough there, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, can they? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's only joking. <laughs> Okay, chapter 11, page one. <laughs> oh. The fair Sabrina had been kicked out of her castle by her evil stepmother. <laughs> I'm an evil queen! Aunt, this is a pleasant surprise. What? You dressing up like this for the pantomime. What pantomime? <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, they're moving swiftly on. Sabrina was lost in the woods, alone and afraid, tired and hungry. Gee, I could sure deal with a jello popsicle. Whatever one of those is. Y yes, all right, Kat. Please don't get clever. No, I won't. Wouldn't be very Sabrina-like, would it? <laughs> Saucer of milk, table four. <laughs> Sabrina found herself in a tiny little house full of nothing but champagne, expensive clothes and wheelie bins brimming with cash. Yes, she'd stumbled across the house of the seven pop stars. Hark, can you hear them, children? Can you hear them coming home for their tea? <laughs> Sabrina was so afraid of these attractive and highly talented pop stars that she hid. So, sorry, mate, can you just... Cheers. <laughs> Great. And because none of us could quite remember <coughs> what happens next in Sabrina White and the Seven Pop Stars, they began starting behaving like the, the, the three little bears. I think we've been visited. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Ooh. Duff that, you lot. The flipping telly's been nicked. The CDs have gone too, and the hi-fi. <laughs> CDs have gone. At least someone's got Nest Club 7 out of them, then. <laughs> yeah, we didn't come here to be insulted. Hey, no, well, where'd you normally go? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, I'm just having a lap with you there. You should count yourselves lucky you're in this sketch, you know, because Deck wanted real dwarves when I had to talk them out of it. What's wrong with real dwarves? Ah, uh, they're very hard to work with. They're uh, too dopey, too sleepy, and too lazy. And shut up. Ridiculous. Shut your mouth and get uh, over here. Oh. Get over here. <clears throat> Carrying on. Sabrina plucked up her courage and then reduced herself to the seven pop stars. Go on. I don't want it. Go on. Come on. Greetings, you seven pop stars. I am Sabrina, the teenage witch, and I am lost in this forest. I am searching for my last boyfriend, Declan, who is so handsome and has a nice car and could get loads of fit lasses if he wanted to. <laughs> he 
he sounds terrific. Why not wait here for him and we will prepare a banquet in his honour of fine cereals and great grapefruit juices. <laughs> Just then, Sabrina heard Declan galloping through the forest on his trusty white steed, Ian. Now then, you read it from now on. Oh, I, can't, I haven't got me reading glasses. Doesn't, it doesn't matter, just read it. Oh, you're joking. Um, Deck, Deck spanked the seven pop stars for their mindless armchair and Sabrina left him for a vet. The yeah, end. No, 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 it Get says, it. Deck thanked the seven pop stars for their kindness and care and Sabrina loved him forever. The end. No, Deck, I have to say, it definitely says, Deck spanked the seven pop stars and Sabrina left him for a vet. So that's what it says in the book. That's what you've got to go on. Ooh, that's what you've got to do. Goodness oh, sakes. Hey. Next one. <clears throat> right. <laughs> oh, oh. How do you go? Oh. 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 Come on then, hard as you like. <laughs> and the vet and as yeah, Sabrina cocks oh. the vet. Sabrina oh. and the vet exit. Brilliant. Yeah. I think you'll agree, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of it. Why, why, the thing, why does this always happen to me, aren't they? Eh? Why does it always happen? I always get so close to actually getting my girl, to getting Sabrina, and then all my hopes just are dashed. Dashed at the last minute. Oh, don't be, don't, don't be silly, Dad. Don't be silly. Wipe your tears there, mate. I enjoyed your pad, <laughs> You know, you know what? People, people are beginning to call this type of thing Dex Luck now. You know? No, they are. Not. They are. They're not. You, they no, are. They're not. They you, are. You're just thinking that. They In are. fact, listen. Got to surprise me. What? The real Sabrina is backstage. You to go and ask her for a date. You, you are joking no, me. I'm not joking. You're... Get yourself away, son. Oh, that's that's fun. That, oh, that's fantastic. Go on, go on. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back. Go on, go on, Joyce. Go on, get yourself out of there. <laughs> See, it all ends nicely in the end. Still to come this morning show, Jamiroquai, Melanie C, more from Sabrina, and of course the fabulous S Club 7 are here all morning on no! the show. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like more decks looking for it. We'll see you after the break. Yeah. Welcome back. Now who fancies another game? I'll split who? Me. Bye. Shoot, shoot the VT runner there. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Bob. Earlier on, we asked you the question, what does the C in CITV sound on? Of course, the answer was... B. It's B, isn't it? Yes, it's B. B. It's Julian, isn't it? That's right. It's we had B. loads of people get that. And uh, we've got another caller on the line. Millie Mottram from London. Good morning, Millie. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Oh, excellent. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, can't play with you this morning. Okay, Wait. What? Sorry? What? what? What did you say? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, I said brilliant. I said brilliant. Well done. Thanks for calling up and playing with you this morning. Is Rachel from Let's Come Say? How are you, Rachel? I'm very well, thank you. Good luck on the old splatoon go there. Tech, could you tell them how to play in a nice manner? Yes. Without insulting in them. In a nice manner, Tech. In a nice sorry. manner, Tech. Awfully sorry, Millie. Really. Awfully sorry. Okay. 45 seconds on the clock. You've got to get as many points as you can. Each pin bag is worth 100 points, and the points to beat is 400. Emily got 400, 400 points earlier on this morning. That's what you have to beat. Oh, so that. Okay, that's how you know how you play. Pop your goggles on there. Pop your goggles on. Thank you very much. Goggles Good are luck, on. Rachel. Good luck, Rachel. Good luck, Rachel. You've got 45 seconds on the clock. Left, right, up, down, stop and splat. Good luck. Chuck's away. Total score of 200 points. 200. Emily uh, with 400 points. You're the winner. Emily, are you there? 
Yeah. Congratulations, you've won the tickets and VIP passes to the Music Awards. Can I please have all your autographs? Of course you can. Of course you can. Thank you. Yes. Of course you well can. done. Congratulations. Hold it there, Rachel. Rachel, oh. you didn't even make the leaderboard. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Never mind. well, there you go. Oh, well, never mind. Well done, Hella. But now, let's go on to that young slimmer thing. Sabrina. Ah, ah, ah. The fantastic Sabrina there. Now then, last week, Ant, dis Ant had a disappointing humiliation of 8-2. 8-2 he lost last week, which is pretty bad. Will he be able to build back his confidence this week? Will he roar to victory? Find out now in Challenge Ant. And this time, it's personal. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another thrilling instalment of Challenge Ant. You know the rules by now. Ten questions, a prize on every question and a star prize at the end of it. Let's bring him on, the king of Challenge Ant, the man with no brain, Ant McParlin! <laughs> Welcome back to Challenge Ant. Ant, hiding your head in humiliation. 8-2 last week. Shocking, wasn't you were it? well and truly thumped. <laughs> I was, what? Well, let's meet this week's contender. Please welcome her. It's Miss Lucy Schwartz! <laughs> yeah! Oh, alright, Lucy. Thank you very much, my copy of the questions. How are you doing, Lucy? Yeah. You alright? Good? Confident? Yeah. Think you're going to win? Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Good luck to you, Ant. Thanks, Dave. You need to turn the tables on this one. I can, do. Can I ask you to take your earpiece out? Indeed you can. So the no cheating going on. There you are. OK. Thank this you. This is the day we're playing for ton, te, to, 10 top albums. Very difficult to say that. 10 <laughs> top albums. Uh, now then, for every question that Ant gets wrong, you win an album. Now, at the end of your 10 questions, you can decide whether you want to gamble everything you've won so far on today's star prize, which is this. Fantastic hi-fi system. <laughs> Now, then, Lucy, I must warn you, though, if you go for the killer question and you gamble and you lose, you go home with nothing, OK? Is that clear? Yeah. You understand the rules? Yeah. Come on, Lucy. Confident still? Yeah. OK, good luck to you. Good luck to Ant. Let's play it today's edition of Challenge Ant. <laughs> OK. Lucy. Question number one is for the number 10 album, Millennium, Will Smith. Funny little play on words. <laughs> <laughs> Whose new album is called Willennium? <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith! What are those little words? Uh, uh, you can't really get more unfortunate than that. It's <laughs> unfortunate. One, Thank you very one much. nil, two ones. <laughs> right. Um, OK, question two is for the number nine album. The cause, unplugged, as it says on the back here. I think it's unplugged. <laughs> What are the names of the new Barbie dolls that are being advertised on TV at the moment? Oh, um, Sleeping Beauty Barbie. Stab in the dog, that was it. <laughs> it's one all. It is, in fact, uh, what is it? Generation <laughs> Girls, of course. Uh, quest, uh, question number three is for the number eight album. Five, Invincible. What is Melanie from EastEnders' real name? Melanie from EastEnders' real name. Ah, uh, no, that's a good Why question, my love. <laughs> It is, of course, Tamsin Outhwaite. Oh, yeah, yeah It's yeah. Tamsin. Uh, question number four is for the number seven album, Queen, Greatest Hits 3. <laughs> In the book and the TV show, The Worst Witch, what is the worst witch's name? <laughs> Sandra. Uh... Sorry, it's Mildred Hubble. Mildred Hubble. I think you're thinking of um, Greece, and That's what you're thinking of. Uh, question number five is for the number six album, Macy Gray on How Life Is. Good album. What are centre shocks? Centre shocks. Um, it's those. Uh, it's it's those. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 it is, of course, a new bubblegum with a strong, tangy taste in the middle. I knew that. Question number six for the number five album, The Man Who, Travis. You see. Who is KV and Adele from Bewitched, Famous Brother? Ah, shit, my boy's on. Get him in! Get him in! Question number seven is for the number four album, Westlife. Westlife. <laughs> Which singer features in the F FIFA 2000 PlayStation game? Robbie Williams. Come yes! on! Oh, come on. He's, he's getting back into it. Uh, question number seven is for the number three album, Schneider Twain. Come on over. 
Name Sally Webster's two children in Coronation Street. Oh, um, oh, um, Adam Rickard played one. Uh... Five, five, three. Not unless Adam Rickard played either Sophie or Rosie. All oh, right. Uh, question oh, number did. nine for the number two album, Steps. Steptacular! What is the name of the little lion cub in The Lion King? Simba! Yes! It's 5-4. It's 5-4. Question number 10. For the number one album, Celine Dion? <laughs> <laughs> what is Stan from South Park's dog called? Oh. You get this one out. Oh. No. 6-4. Give a big round of applause, everybody. And she's done well. This is done really well. 6-4. The, the name of the dog is, in fact, Sparky. Shame. Sparky, that's Sparky. it, yeah. George Clooney Shame. does the voice. George Clooney does the voice. There we have it. Well, Lucy, congratulations. Six CDs you've won there. You can take them home. They're yours to play. Or you can gamble them. You can put them up for the gamble and go for the hi-fi system. It's up to you. Six CDs. It's a good little haul, lad. What do you think she should do, everybody? <laughs> Lucy? <laughs> Lucy, I'm going to have to push you for an answer. What are you going to do? I'm going to gamble. She's going to gamble! She's going for the killer question! Come on, Lucy. OK. Thrilling part of the show now, ladies and gentlemen. Six four to Lucy Schwartz, uh, but she's gambling them. She's going for the hi-fi system. Good luck, Ant. You could really do with this to pull yourself yep. back into the game. Thanks. Uh, Lucy, best of luck for all ten CDs. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a bit excited here. And the hi-fi system. Best luck to the both of you. Can we have today's killer question, please? In the TV show, what is Buffy the Vampire Slayer's surname? Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> Then come and have a go if you think you're smart enough. Right to, I'm not scared of that, Jordy gas bag. Challenge Ant, SMTV Live, PO Box 22122, London SE1, 9GL. Come and wipe that smirk up his face. Congratulations to Lucy Schwartz, who walks away with 10 CDs and the day's star prize of a hi-fi system. Commiserations to one who goes home with absolutely nothing. Right now, a bit of a treat for you live in the SMTV studio. S Club 7 and 2 in a million! No one's told you promise you could ever be this lame. Every week a different show, yet somehow all the same. We'll be chums forever. We'll be darling with chums. Previously on Chums. I'm falling. I think I'm falling in. Oh, cat. Oh, cat. <laughs> oh! 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 Charms is filmed before a bribed studio audience. And with the E on the end, artichoke. There you are. So, so Kat, uh, you know when you were canoodling with Bo George last night? Oh, yeah. Was there love in the air, was there? Oh, well, you know, he was a really lovely bloke and everything. He was gorgeous, but, you know, it just wasn't really meant to be, I don't think, because uh, I couldn't really go out with a bloke who wore lip gloss better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life, I have to tell you. But well, Kat, huh? you don't need a man when you've got chums like us. Oh, man. Right. I really appreciate it. Give us a hug. Come oh. <laughs> Tell you what, that paper girl's getting tougher. Seven punches she took the day before she gave us it. <laughs> What's this? My worst nightmare. Cut the woman I love in an embrace with my best friend, Dan. This can't, this can't be happening. Just, just, ignore, just ignore it. It could be perfectly innocent. Just ignore it. 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 Oh. It's a nice hug. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Indeed. I tell you what, Anne, I uh -huh. really love playing Scrabble. Oh yeah, I like it. It's good, isn't it? What's your favourite letter? Mine's uh, mine's G. I, I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> oh well, you know, I, I quite like D, and J is one of my favourites, but. 
I think above all, it's you. I'm, I really love you, Anne. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's it. You mean, she fancy some music on, Kat? Yeah, good idea. Okay. Have you got any U2 albums, Anne? Oh, yeah, all of them. I tell you what, oh. I really love you too, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is what I love. This is what I love. This is what... <laughs> hey, Kat! What? Are you been playing my cartoons records, you scabby witch? So, what if I have? What's it to you, you bug face creep? Oh, like that, is it now, is it? Yeah. Wanna make some of it then, do you? Any time. Pow. Right now, behind this sofa. Come on! If, if, if I don't listen, then I can't hear anything that's going to upset me. That's the best thing to do. I mean, I mean, it's not as if I'm going to find them just like rolling around on the floor together, is it? <laughs> Take this, this pain away. I am the victor. I knocked the hell out of him. Well, it's a, been a pleasure knowing you all these years. Come on, man, let's get out of it. They're a right little devil at this age, aren't they, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen? Come on, son. Hi, Deck, are you okay? Hi, Deck, are you okay? No, I'm not actually, you heartbreaking hussy. You two make me absolutely sick. You make me vomit. <laughs> chums, chums, eh? You don't even know the meaning of the word. Well, you won't beat me. You won't beat me, all right? So, so you're, all, you're all right then? No, Carl, I said Declan is a little tired on easy. Deck, mate, don't forget about it. You can tell us, tell us whatever's on your have mind. Have her, have her, have her! I don't want her. I've got some new showbiz chums. There's a showbiz party here today, and you two aren't invited. Showbiz chums are coming. They'll be here any minute. That'll be them now. That'll be them. <laughs> it's JK and Mel C. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right then, uh, where's this uh, big party? Yeah, that is going to be a pretty wild affair. Wild affairs? Ask them about wild affairs. They're the experts, Melanie. They're the experts. Come in, come in and sit down, Jay. Thanks, you take, take a seat on the show. Sit down. Yeah, and oh. Kat's going to be a, a wild affair. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't speak to them, please, Melanie. Don't speak to them. There's, you have some cheesy biscuits, Jay. I know you like cheesy biscuits. I'll, I'll, I'll have these. Look, Crink, look, don't, don't deck, look at deck, them. Deck, 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 Why can't we just come to your party? Come on, Deck. Oh, no reason in particular. Only that you're an evil double-crossing streak of evil, evil voodoo. That's why. <laughs> well, as long as we know Kat here, you know. Mm -hmm. Kat, why can't don't, you... Don't speak I to just... them, please, Melanie. I think I said don't speak to them. And I will be obeyed. OK. OK. <laughs> please, please, please don't speak to them. Don't, I wouldn't even look in their direction. Okay. Don't look in their direction, eh? eh? I think you glanced at them there, Melanie. Did you? Did you just? Did, did you glance? I think you did. I didn't. Give us me penis. I'm, I'm not having that, Melanie. Go on, get out. Get out, Melanie. Get out. It's In with the enemy. I'm not having it. Not having it. Just you and me now, Jay. Just you and me, son. Eh? Eh? Solid as a rock, me and you, though. Eh? So we don't need them three, do we? Eh? Mm. Nah, we don't need them. No, 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 yeah, yeah don't, don't look at them, though. Eh? Don't, don't speak to them. Don't, no. Don't look at them. I'm not. No, don't look at them. I'm, I'm not. I'm just sitting there like that. No, but don't, no, don't look at them. <laughs> look, give us my cheesy biscuits, Jay. That's it. Get out. Get out, Jay. Get out. Get over there. With the, go on. Over there with sit, the enemy. I'm not down. having it. See, I will be up. Jay, sit down, sit down here, mate. Deck, deck, deck. We've got to say, you're acting very childishly, mate. Shoshan, I can't hear you, I'm afraid. So, sounds of merriment from my party drowning you out. <laughs> Well, we're going to have our own party here on this company chair, aren't we? Yeah, we can have a party here. Yeah. We don't need you, so no, no. In fact, double no. No, 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 no. To the power of ten over here. <laughs> oh, oh, ridiculous, man. No, no, get crashers, please, at my party. Thanks. Thanks. Listen, Declan, what's the matter? Are you OK? It's my party, Kat. And I'll cry if I want them, right? <laughs> right. Now, why don't you get better get back to your showbiz chums and your boyfriend and there? Eh? What? What? Hang on, hang on. Did you just say boyfriend? Yeah. Is that what this is all about? Is that what all this yeah, is about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anne's not my boyfriend, silly. Anne doesn't even like girls. Hey! <laughs> Where's long hair like mine? 
<laughs> what? Re really? Really? <laughs> oh, 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 I've been such a fool, haven't oh, I? You have. Oh. oh, come on, dry your eyes. <laughs> Wipe the peanuts from off your chin. <laughs> and come on, do that voiceover thing. That you know that thing when you do when when you say me and Cat alone, yeah, yeah. flat. But you have to do it quickly you before the voiceover man starts. Just get them out the front ones. <laughs> um, the voice, before the voiceover man and freeze frame man start, okay? okay. You ready? Yeah. Clean? Show? All right. <laughs> Main cat, all alone in the flat. I feel as if, yes, I'm going to kiss her. Will Dick ever get to kiss cat? Damn you, voiceover freeze frame man. <laughs> Will Cat ever get her man? Will Ant? Hey, hey, I like girls, all right, look at that. <laughs> yeah, right. Find out next week in Charm. <laughs> You know, right? <laughs> Bit knackered, isn't it? That's what you get by honking your horn too much, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, let's have a game of... Wonky donkey! <laughs> Wonky donkey! Wonky donkey! Wonky donkey! Wonky donkey! Wonky donkey! Oh! Ah! It's all kicking off! Uh, earlier on we asked the question... Shut up! I don't mean to ask the question, what uh, age group does Sabrina the witch uh, belong to? And of course the answer was teenage. Loads of people knew that. We've got five on the line. How do they play a walk? Stop it! How do they play the game? I've got a donkey here with a leg messing up. He's got a wonky. He's a wonky donkey. He's a wonky donkey. Tell us what the animal is and what's up with it. What's wrong with it? It's a wonky donkey. Okay. But please make sure that it rhymes. That it rhymes. All right, we've got callers on the line. Ten of them each will have ten seconds. If you don't get it in ten seconds, you move on to the next call. If nobody gets his rock and roll over wonky donkey next week. All right? Yes. Can we show the wonky donkey before I go to the callers? Yes. Week? Okay, listen up, callers. Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a talk on this week, the online one. We've got Sean Denzer from Leicester. Good morning, Sean. Morning. Ten seconds. What have we got here? Off you go. Lassie Butter. Uh, no. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, hair long dog. What? Uh, what? Hair <laughs> No, I'm afraid not. Hey, you've got to listen Pick out up. there. Listen out to the loud and stuff. Okay, uh, line two, Emily. Um, Emily. Emily from Cornwall. <laughs> Crookshank. Hello. Good Hello, morning. Emily. Ten Hi. seconds. What have we got here? Um, Collie Wobble. Oh. Doesn't rhyme. Nearly. Um, Collie Hobble. Oh. Got it's it right. A collie. It's um, a Collie. Something before it. Collie. Um, laughing Collie. Nearly. Um. <laughs> No! Oh, laughing, laughing Collie! Laughing Collie doesn't rhyme, does it? Just think! It rain. Collie! Something Collie! Shh, 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 shh. Line three is Holly from Don Holly the Collie! No! Holly, you've got ten seconds. What have we got here? Laughing Lassie? No, it's a Collie, for goodness sake! Collie <laughs> What? No! Collie! Chuckling Collie! Uh, Collie! Go uh, away, never dog my doorstep again! <laughs> Chuckling Collie? Chuggling Cully. <laughs> On line four, we've got Lauren Killier from Birmingham. Good morning, Lauren. Morning. Good morning. You're going to, you're going to get it, I reckon. Ten seconds. What have we got here? Molly Cully. No, nearly. Um, Molly Cully. No, no, nearly. Um, it's laughing. It's laughing. It's happy. Ha happy Cully. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> John, what was our last call, our last caller? Louise Gibbs from Old It's something Louise. Collie, Hello. and it's All laughing. Right, ten seconds. What have we got here? Tell me, Colin. Yeah! Oh. Oh. Where is the Lord? Jolly Collie. He's a Collie, and he's jolly. It wasn't difficult. <laughs> well done. Well done, Louise. You won the computer game and console. Congratulations from everybody Congratulations. here. Congratulations. Now, time for the Benga Boys and kiss when the sun don't shine. Madam, I've just gone for us to tell you about the steps.
giveaway we had this morning. The answer was, of course, Salem. And the winners are Paul LeBox, Patsy Morton, Daniel Biddington, Rebecca Robertson, Karen Sam, and Karina, <laughs> Katrina Parker. Well done. I'd just like to say thanks to Eskom Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but we have got with us the CDK audience. Good morning, audience. Hello. They're here for CDK. Come at you after the break. You know where it's at. Wow.